Hey everyone, welcome back to the second part of the Card B project. In the last video, I have made this project, and I believe you have made as well. But we haven't added the listener yet, so I'm going to show how to add the listener. And first of all, we need to make the card view clickable. And for that, go to the first card view here and make it clickable. Clickable, true. And also, I need to add one more properties here foreground and select here Android. Android attribute and select it item background. So I'm going to copy these two lines and I have to paste it in every card view. Perfect. Okay, one more here and inside the last one. Perfect. So if you run this project now, it will be clickable, but uh, we haven't added the listener yet. yet. Just I want to show you the project again one more time. It's running. Yes, so the card view is clickable now, but we haven't added the listener. So going to the main activity for adding the listener. First of all, I need to add some variables, card view variables, card view variables, school card view school card view and restaurant card view card view hospital card view and the next one library card view first of all we need to we need to find out all the card view and then we can add the listener so school card view find view by id r dot id dot the ID we have given to the school card view is school card view ID and we can copy and paste. We need only four actually. So the next one will be library card view and we can find out the library card view. The ID have we have given library card view ID and after that restaurant card view and I need to change the ID as well restaurant card view ID. After that hospital card view and hospital card view ID. Okay, that's great. Now I can add the listener here. We need to implement on click listener. Implement on click listener. Alter enter. Just we need to use alter enter here. Alter enter and implement the methods on click methods. Perfect. And now here I need to add all, all the listener. I need to add the listener with all the card view. So set on click listener. This. You can see I'm taking too much time because I'm explaining all these things to you. If I wouldn't explain that, it wouldn't take that much time, you know. Library card view, restaurant card view, and again, I'm sorry for my poor English. Hospital card view. Okay, well done. So uh, I believe coding does not uh, require too much English anyway. It uh, it requires your passion. Okay, so if you click any card view, that it will go to the on click method. Now we can do something like this: switch and we can paste the item here v and here b.get id actually well i can use here uh, if i wish i can use if or if else but i'm going to use switch here anyway so here i'll use case first of all if it match with r.id.card view school card view then i'll do one thing and the thing is I'll go to another activity so if the user click in any card view then uh, the on click method will be called and if the user uh, first I need to know which card view the user have clicked so if the user clicked on school card view then I'll go to the school activity so I need to create some activity actually four activities so I'm going to the Java file and here I'm going to create new activity activity and the empty activity school activity perfect after that I'm going to create one more activity new activity it will take some time because another activity is still creating new activity come on it's not supposed to take this much time right new activity and here you go empty activity I'm creating hospital activity hospital activity finish 
and after that I'm going to create one more activity new activity library activity I'm creating all the activity randomly okay it doesn't have to be a parade and after that I'm creating the last activity for the restaurant activity restaurant activity Beta. perfect so I have created four activities and I'm going to design a bit for all of this activity go to any activity you want I'm going to the hospital activity and I'm going to change out the XML file a bit and I'm going to use here a linear layout orientation will be vertical orientation is not necessary I'm going to use gravity here this type of orientation gravity center and I can use a background color here and I will use blue color actually so material blue and inside of this linear layout I will use a text view just to make sure that which uh, uh, which linear layout I'm in actually or which in activity I'm in so I want to show a message here it will be wrap content wrap content mm, text so whenever the user click in any card view the user need to understand where he is actually or the person who is coding actually right now so you need to make sure that it is working perfectly and uh, welcome the text will be welcome to the restaurant activity restaurant activity okay and I can make the text size a bit bigger so text appearance will be Android text appearance large perfect so this property you can use Android text appearance large okay uh, so I'll copy this XML file from here and then I'll go to other activities like library XML file I'll paste it down here control V but you have to change uh, the context here because library should be linked to library activity and okay I'm done with this now I'll go to the restaurant I'll paste it here I'll change welcome to the restaurant activity this is perfect and this one should be linked to the restaurant activity so I'm taking one by one anyway I will keep only the main activity I'm closing all of this anyway so I will check all the layout first of all I need to check the hospital okay so I need to change a bit here I was working with the hospital layout actually hospital hospital activity this is okay I'll check the library one library activity okay this is fine restaurant okay then the last one I need to Control B here, and this one should link up with the school activity. And I'll show school activity. Come on. Okay. School activity. Perfect. So this time I'll go to the main activity again because I have made ready all this layouts, all this activity actually. So when the user will click on school card view ID, I need to go to the school activity. So for that, I need to use intent and I'm taking a variable of intent here, intent, intent. And inside the case, I'm going to use intent equal new intent. I'm going to, going from this activity to the school activity, school activity dot class. And I have to start the activity, start activity. Inside this, I have to put intent, intent, not the int. And after that, I have to write down break here. And I'm going to copy paste this code, control D, control D, control D four times because I have used full card view. Okay, here I will use library card view. And if anyone click on library, then it means go to library activity. Then after that, I'm going to use restaurant card view. If anyone click on restaurant card view, then he needs to go to restaurant activity. And the last one, if anyone click on hospital card view, the person needs to go to the hospital activity. Perfect. So far, so good. Now let's run this code. Let's see. Does it work or not? Of course, it should be working. Inshallah. One more thing. I have added a back button here. I'll show you how to add this back button. Don't worry. But first of all, I need to see the output, what we have got so far. 
it's about to run. It's taking some time, I'm sorry for that, you know. Okay, here it is. If I click on school activity, it's taking to the school activity, it's working. Okay, go back. Again, if I click on library, card B, then it's taking to the library activity. But I want to use an, a back button here, not here actually, I want to use a back button here in the title bar or the action bar. And for that, what I have to write down here, I have to come down here. Now in the main activity, I want to add back button to the hospital, library, restaurant, and school activity. So go to any activity you want. And we're going to add only two lines of this code. So add these two lines. And this will give you the back button, but it will not work until you add the on option item selected method. So you have to use this. And also, if item dot get item id equal and draw it dot r dot id dot home if in the back button is click then you want to finish this activity so click on finish so i need to add these few lines to each of the activity restaurant activity so this will get the back back button back button and last one hospital activity back button but I need to add the method that I'm going to use that will work for the back button actually so restaurant activity I need to add these few lines on option item selected on option item selected well done now for the final time I'm going to run this code again and let's find out if it is working fine the back button are working fine I think it will work fine so I'm about to finish this video. This is the last time I'm running this code. Click on the school activity. You can see the back button is here. If you click on the back button, then you can go back to the main activity. So that's all for today. I believe uh, it was very helpful to you. If the video was very helpful, then please like my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. And please try to uh, suggest me what I can do for you. Uh, if you suggest any, any sort of uh, subject that I can make videos, then uh, it will be very helpful for you and also helpful for me. So if you need anything, just uh, com comment on the, down, on the comment section, please. Okay? So stay happy um, and believe in humanity, please. Thank you very much.